let's see. Today is Wednesday, so that means Vegas Pro. Let's see, um, let's turn on some music first. And let's see on our upload schedule. Okay, we need to find an idea for a great tutorial. Let's see on YouTube what we could do. Dude, you should be recording. Someone requested this and it's basically fake cinematic camera shakes or something? You, need, you can at least try it, right? Fake cinematic camera shakes? Let's look that up. I think that's a great idea though. I have never done it, so yeah, let's try that one. Let's go. Should I do the intro? <sighs> okay. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create fake cinematic camera shakes and everything like that and you know and movements So I would say if you guys are excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new And obviously I will catch you guys right after the intro <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, I just have a stock footage clip of Tower Bridge and what we're gonna do is very simple. We're gonna create these awesome shakes and movements and this video is existing out of two segments. The first one is the shakes and all the, the movements, the fake movements. And I have a video that I uploaded a few months ago that is called the fake drone effect. You know, it's also, you know, to create like a fake map drone effect. I'm gonna include that in the second part of the videos and I also have a really special announcement at the end of the video so keep watching let's get started so this is basically the tower bridge clip as you can see very very nice what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that this has been shot on a glider so we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon first of all we need to zoom in a little bit because if we're gonna slide from the left to the right as you can see there will be black bars appearing and that's not what we want we're gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this icon is set to move in X only then we're gonna go to the left and we're gonna put it to the edge like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a keyframe in order to slide to the right so we're gonna go ahead and place our keyframe at the very end and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this guy to the opposite way so that's what we're gonna do and this is what it looks like so let me adjust it just a little bit okay this is what we created so far so as you can see, that looks really, really nice. And that looks like this video is shot on a glider that's going from left to right. And that's a really, really cool technique in order to actually create this fake movement. So what you can also do is you can add in cinematic shakes. So what we can do is, for example, tilt this guy a little bit to the left. I'm going to also do that like that. And then at the very beginning, I'm going to tilt it to the opposite way, which is going to be right here. All right, so this is basically what it looks like. As you can see, it is looking nice and it is tilting very, very slowly. And this is also a very nice simulation that you can create without having like a really expensive glider to make this shot. And let's say that we want to go ahead and create a nice cinematic shake or like a twist. What we can do is basically create a keyframe, which is right here. And then we're gonna zoom in all the way and then we're gonna tilt it. Then we're gonna create a keyframe right here and we're gonna tilt it even more until it's right again and then we're gonna zoom out. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. And that's how you can also can create a nice transition. Okay, and the last thing that we can do is, for example, make this zoom in and everything and shake all music. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete all the keyframes real quick. So just right click on the keyframe, click on delete, right click again, click delete, and also do that for all the keyframes. So now that all the keyframes are gone, we wanna go ahead and put it back to the beginning and then we're gonna just right click and hit restore. So now the clip is back into position and let's say that we have a little drop 
right here we can just go ahead and click on here on the timeline and then we can just create a nice zoom and that's basically what we can do we can also just click right here again and then we want to go ahead and click on create a new keyframe and then just a few frames back you can also right click and put the one to restore so this is what it looks like doom 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 so that's basically how you can do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy those keyframes and I'm going to duplicate them and then it is basically looking like it's, you know, bumping on the music. Okay, so now that I copied those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here and then we're gonna press Control C and then Control V so they're basically copied. And we're gonna do that for the entire timeline and then we will add some music. It is just adding some awesome cinematic shakes and you can add this on music and this is basically how you do it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep pasting these until the timeline is completely filled. So I'll catch you guys when that is done. All right, so now I added in a song. So let's see what it looks and sounds like. That looks pretty pretty nice so that's how you create these awesome cinematic camera shakes that are obviously fake because we're just editing uh, or we're just using or editing software to simulate those effects so that's it for this first part and if you want to know how to create this fake map drone effect i'll show you guys a little snippet of it right here and uh, make sure to keep watching because like i've mentioned i have like an amazing announcement at the end so i'll catch you guys when that part is done What's up guys, my name is Alex. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate a nice map slash drone effect. So let's say that you want to have some nice drone footage, but you but you don't have uh, like three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, maybe thousand dollars uh, like laying around to buy an actual drone. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to recreate this awesome effect and it's going to look so, so realistic like you guys have seen in the intro. So I would say make sure to smash that like button down below for this video and I would say let's get started. So as you can see, we are in Vegas Pro and we need actually uh, a photo of uh, an image and we're going to use Google uh, Google Earth uh, for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to our browser and go to Google Earth. And what we're going to do right here is we're going to click on uh, launch Google Earth. And right here we're going to pick a nice photo of a place and we're going to make that you know photo look like it's a uh, footage from a drone camera. So I'm going to just pick a random um, a location, let's, let's say that we're gonna pick New York, for example, just a regular random place on the earth. It could be New York, it could be anything else. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see right now, this is the footage of a part of New York and we're gonna recreate that this is going to be our drone footage. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to 
um, make a photo of this. So I'm going to pick a nice realistic part. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just make a photo or just print screen in general until it is a nice 1920 by 1080 image. So I'm going to just make uh, that photo real quick using Giazzo. Something else you guys can use print screen on your keyboard or take a photo. I'm going to just use Giazzo for this. So as you can see, this is the picture of the, uh, the, the photo that we just took. As you can see and we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon we're gonna just zoom uh, all the way in let me try to do that let's just go ahead and zoom in as much as we can then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna just go ahead and cl right click and click restore so it looks like the drone is sent into the into the sky like this as you can see that one looks really really tight but I'm gonna make it a little bit faster though let's see how i can do that and this is how amazing it looks now what we're going to do then is we're going to uh, apply a nice little uh, color correction on it so we're going to go to the effects tab of the photo i'm going to just add in true glare uh, glare with letterbox click on add click on ok and you guys probably won't have those color correction presets because you have, you have to download them um like externally so once you've done that as you can see this image looks really really tight boom so that one looks like the drone is in the air, but obviously drones are flying and they're moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this image uh, float a little bit. So we're going to create the fake camera movements, movements rather, go to the event pan crop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck those two. We're going to create a keyframe right here. And then what we're going to do is like, for example, oh, um, we need to right click properties, uncheck, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and... and and disable the resample. So once you've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just mess around a little bit with like the, the resolution and the aspect radio. So it looks that we are messing, uh, that the camera is in fact flying into the air. This is looking like the drone is flying on in, in the air, actually. Obviously, we need clouds as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a picture of a cloud. Very, very basic. Which is going to be this one. And we're going to obviously remove the blue. So we're going to go to the video effects tab. Then we're going to scroll all the way down until we see chroma key. Then drag the default one on top of it. Then we're going to just uncheck it for a second. Click on this blue icon. Click on the pencil. And we're going to pick it around here. Here. If we recheck the chroma key, as you can see, the sky and the cloud is there. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the low threshold a little bit and then also with the blur amount. So as you can see, this one looks cool and that looks like a real legit cloud. But then we're going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the track motion icon and we're going to resize this a little bit. So make it a little bit bigger and we're going to place it like, for example, like this in the corner. Then what we're going to do is we're going to also make those clouds uh, float around. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a keyframe uh, right here. And I'm going to just make it make sure to zoom in a little bit, create a new keyframe like this, make it restore again, click a new keyframe like this. I create a new keyframe like so and as you can see this one is a really really tight effect and as you can see the cloud is also moving and that looks that the drone is flying into the air that looks freaking sick and we're gonna obviously duplicate this track and we're gonna you know go to the track motion icon and we're gonna replace this to the top so we have both clouds onto the screen and this is how it looks with two clouds and that's how simple it is
So guys, that's it for this video and the amazing announcement I wanted to make is that when you're watching this video, I'm currently giving away two physical copies of Vegas Pro 15. So if you're watching this after July 31st, the giveaway is unfortunately already over. But if you're on time, make sure to check out the description in order to win one of these copies. I'm going to ship one copy to two of both of the winners. They will both get a copy. So make sure to check out the description. There is a link to the campaign where you can enter and complete all the task so that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys tomorrow for the very first episode of channel reviews so i'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video